Now for more on this, we have with us political analyst Mustafa Khushchesim from Tehran. Thank you for your time. Now, why do you think Washington is pressing for sanctions on Iran if it is in compliance with the JCPOA? Well, uh, the United States uh, knows pretty well that uh, its claimed uh, uh, trigger mechanism is not working and it's been isolated. But they intend to, uh, first of all, escalate tensions uh, with Iran. Uh, you know, that uh, despite the very fact that the uh, UN Security Council chairman has ruled out any kind of action to reimpose UN Security Council sanctions against Iran, uh, the U.S. has declared that it would go for unilateral sanctions uh, against Iran, first of all, to block any kind of arms trade with Iran, as promised under the JCPOA, and secondly, uh, to reimpose inspection of ship uh, uh, vessels and uh, air cargoes to and from Iran. This uh, would definitely be uh, responded with Iran's tough response and as stated by uh, the top commander of IRGC of Iran yesterday, Tehran would not tolerate any kind of hostile action like that. Right, Mr. Mustafa, now is Tehran satisfied with the position taken by the United Nations over the issue or does it fall short? Well, uh, first of all, uh, Tehran should be satisfied with the uh, unanimous backup that it's receiving from uh, the UN Security Council members, as well as the UN Security Council. But uh, it's not enough, of course, because uh, the US is standing up to the whole world. It's humiliating the whole world and also making a mockery of the UN Security Council mechanism. It's violating the uh, resolution 2231 that uh, is supporting the JCPOA. It's a standing against the wishes uh, of other member states, and therefore it's violating the rules and regulations. Uh, on the basis of the JCPOA, and as the other parties have also stressed, uh, the sanctions on arms trade with Iran should be removed in less than a month from now. Right, and Mr. Mustafa, do you believe the EU3 and other countries will stand by their pledge of not implementing the United States proposed sanctions or will they cave into the United States threats? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, the EU3 have uh, always proved that when it comes to political positions and words and verbal therapy, actually, they uh, stand behind the nuclear deal in order to encourage Iran to stay under the nuclear deal, since it provides them with the best possible regime of inspections to make sure what's going on in Iran. But they are receiving merits without reciprocating it, without giving Tehran any merits. They promise to make up for the U.S. withdrawal from the uh, JCPOA, and they promised again and again that they would uh, comply with their undertakings under the JCPOA when the U.S. discarded the deal two years ago, over two years ago, but they have not taken any action, zelch, nothing at all. And in this time, we do not believe that the Europeans would go for any kind of arms deal with Iran, but these are the Chinese and the Russians that should show their support in action and go for a deal in reality under the underground uh, uh, after October the 18th, 26, seven days from now.